Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, My Parents Don't Understand How Hard Engineering Is. Oh, also before we get started, this is interesting, over 88% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. My goal is to get that below 80%. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps him out a lot. So thanks if you do that. I'm pursuing aerospace engineering next school year for college. And I was talking to my parents about how hard some of the classes are. And they told me they expect me to get all A's or else they refuse to pay for my college. Based on many people's experiences they share on Reddit, getting all A's as any engineering major seems close to impossible. Is there any way I can convince my parents that it's very hard I'm going in with the mindset that I'm going to achieve the highest grades I possibly can, but outside of that, I just know certain classes are very hard. Yeah, I can say from a first-hand account that you're not going to get straight A's. And that's not a slight against you, right? That's not a read on you. I'm sure you're a very intelligent person, but it's a very hard thing to do. And the problem is you know that. It's your parents that don't know that. That's who we have to get through to. But what do you do, hmm? I think we're going about this the wrong way. I don't think you have to convince them that it's impossible to get straight A's. I think you just gotta be upfront with them and say, hey, I'm not gonna get straight A's. It's a classic case of managing their expectations. Rather than bend over backwards trying to accomplish this impossible goal, you need to be very upfront about them about what to expect. This is eerily similar to the idea of managing your manager, except as a student, your manager are your parents. Something in the corporate full-time working world that you'll encounter is your manager making crazy demands from you. And sometimes these demands are so crazy that you know, oh, I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> but I think a lot of people make the mistake of still trying to hit those marks, still trying to meet them at this impossible goal. But you know you're not gonna hit it. So you're going to kill yourself and still disappoint them. And how does that work, right? You put in all this work and you're still not good enough? What? So something you learn in the adult world is to manage expectations. You tell your manager, hey, I get that you expect that from me, but just know that because of this, I'm not going to be able to do that. Now, what is this? I made it seem very simple, right? You'll just tell them, oh, because of this, I can't do it. What is this? It seems magical even. This is the logistics of the whole thing. It's fine. It's fine if you say you can't accomplish something, but you need to tell them exactly why you can't accomplish something and what you will accomplish. That's what's expected. So tell your parents, hey, mom and dad. I'm not going to get straight A's. And they'll be like, okay, that's it. We're going to kill you right here. And you're like, oh, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't raise a failure. Okay, so how about we kill you before the real world does? Um, Hopefully they don't say that. But what you should say is, hey, I'm not going to get straight A's. But the reason for that is because, and it's hard to explain to them, uh, why, <laughs> why is this impossible? Because to them, they're like, oh, no, it just means you're not working hard enough. It's like, all right, no. <laughs> for the same people that are lecturing me on how the world works, you don't seem to know yourself, but you need to tell them, hey, this is my workload, okay? These are the hours I have in the week. You might even be forced to get a job when you're in college, so then you gotta factor that in. Hey, I'm gonna spend this amount of time working. I'm gonna spend this amount of time in lecture, in discussion. I only have this much time to do my coursework. Now emphasize, you're not gonna skimp on any of this, right? You're going to fulfill your promises. You're gonna study, you're gonna be hardworking, but there's only so much a human can do. College isn't about doing everything. It's about doing the right things. It inadvertently teaches you that you have to sacrifice some things, whether that's your social life, whether that's your job, whether that's another class, you need to rearrange certain things so that you can have success. Basically what you're doing to them is redefining success. Right now to them, straight A's is success. You need to tell them, well, that's not realistic. This is what I'm gonna shoot for and this is actually successful. You basically have to reframe success for them and tell them that, yes, I can fulfill on this promise. So actually don't, don't tell them all this stuff about like, oh, it's impossible. Ignore that. Don't, <laughs> don't say that. Say that, hey, you have an idea of what success is. This is actually success and I can achieve this. Get them to understand that. That'll be much more consumable for them and it will be actually doable for you. My conclusion is basically don't tell them that you're not going to meet those expectations. Tell them that you have this definition of success for college and you're gonna hit it. Because if they don't understand how hard engineering is, they probably, and I'm not, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Royal T123, I don't mean to offend you, but 
it seems like you probably don't have a good concept of the expectations in college nowadays. So what you basically have to do for them is explain what the expectations are today and tell them that, hey, no need to sweat, I'm gonna hit that. But then again, what do I know, right? I mean, I only made it through the thing. Oh, actually, <laughs> I'm realizing that actually makes me quite qualified, doesn't it? But imposter syndrome can sometimes not make you feel that way. So let's take a look at the comments, see what they say. Parents can be weird sometimes. You just have to figure out your motivation for pursuing an engineering degree. Ask yourself if you're doing it for yourself or them. Why aerospace? See how your first semester goes and go from there. I was a BC student and graduated with a 2.7 because I had to work to support myself. Also, if you come back with Bs, just have the conversation with them. Tell them, hey, I tried my best, but I was only able to achieve a three point whatever. It is their choice to financially support you, and there's no shame in transferring to community college to save money and doing the rest at a state school. That's what I did, and I get paid a lot now. Yeah, reminding yourself of your motivation for doing the thing will definitely help, and I think the rest of it kind of goes into what I was talking about, where you just need to be transparent. <laughs> transparent with your parents. That's not funny. I don't know. It just, just have the same word in them. That's not clever. But again, this comment comes from the place of assuming that the parents will be understanding. But if they're demanding straight A's from an aerospace engineering student, I don't think they will be. So instead of saying, hey, I tried my best, don't say that. Don't. Because <laughs> what are they going to say? Right? They're just going to be like, oh, this is your best. Maybe you shouldn't be in school. That's why we're not paying for it. <laughs> oh, that's also another thing I did consider. They could just be setting you up for definite failure. Wait, what, Garv? His parents don't believe in him? No, they probably do, but maybe they never actually intended on paying in the first place. So they've set these unrealistic standards and they're like, only if you can do that will we pay. And because you won't, they'll be like, oh, see, we don't actually have to have a tough conversation with you because you didn't meet short standards. It gives them kind of a scapegoat so they don't have to have a difficult conversation with their kid. And instead they kind of blame the rules. They're like, oh, well, you didn't hit this. That's why we're not going to pay. This is a very cynical take, right? It's a very cynical idea that his parents are essentially preying on his downfall, but it's not really a downfall when it's impossible, is it? Like if someone tells you to jump across this 50 foot canyon, well, that's not, <laughs> it's impossible. You know, it's not so much that they're preying on your downfall, quite literally, down the canyon, but it's more that they're just setting you up for failure. Now, I don't want to paint mom and pop in this kind of light, but that is something you could consider. Oh, this is bad. This sounds really bad. But no, like I was saying earlier, just make them change the rules. Because right now, they're impossible rules. You're not going to meet them. So tell them, hey, these are the rules. Can we agree on this? You know, the saying is, ask for forgiveness, not permission. But instead of waiting all this time to ask for forgiveness, you should first change the rules of the game so that you won't have to ask to be forgave. Right? Does that make sense? Oh, it's forgiven, isn't it? Forgave's not a word, is it? Yeah, and this is the guy you're taking advice from. Nice look. <laughs> you're going to need to talk to them, show them some solutions to partial differential equations, show them dynamics problems. They're just not informed. Getting all A's is a fever dream. Very unreachable if you're taking a full course load, even all B's is a challenge. Engineering is applied physics. I don't, <laughs> I don't, don't want to come off, you know, strong here, but I don't think that's going to do anything. <laughs> they have no concept of what engineering is. They're going to look at hard stuff and be like, yeah, and that's why you're doing it. I mean, yeah, we're not engineers. Why do you expect us to know this? It should look alien to us. I don't know what that shit is. <laughs> that's why you're going to school for that shit. Not me. What do you, <laughs> seems a little unfair, don't you think? Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> the reply to the comment literally says that it says, do you really think that's going to convince anyone with these expectations? They're not even going to look at it and just say, this is what you're going to school to learn and end the conversation there, LOL. That's, li yeah, that's, <laughs> all right. So on the same page with that one, I'm actually seeing a lot of these comments. Like here's one, my dad is a carpenter and didn't understand how difficult engineering school was until one night I had my differential equations work all over the kitchen table. After that, he agreed to co-sign a loan for school. Here's another one. If you're entering your freshman year, just show them your statistics homework next time you're home and they'll piss themselves. And then here's even another one. Yeah, just show them your homework or talk to them about what you're learning in class. Though it's pretty hard for a child to convince parents to change their mind, no matter how old the child is now. Good luck. It's 
wishful thinking, right? But I think if the same people that are giving you the rules of like, you got to come back with straight A's, I, I don't know if you can convince those same people that it is difficult just by showing them the work. I think that previous comment had the right idea, which is they'll be like, yeah, I mean, that's, this is your thing, right? <laughs> that's like if you're a professional athlete, right? Professional athletes, let's take Stephen Curry, for example, his family still probably gets on him about like, hey, that was a shitty scoring night, huh? He didn't really shoot the ball that well. And I'm not just talking about his brother and his dad, which played in the NBA. I'm talking about like his kids are probably like, yo, what was that? Threw up kind of a goose egg the other day. You want to talk about it? Those kids don't know shit about basketball, but they're still like, hey, you got to be better. The families of professionals probably understand how difficult it is for that professional to do what they do, but that doesn't stop them from having unrealistic expectations. And professional athletes are in a nice position, right? Because they're getting paid handsomely for what they do. In your situation, you're kind of playing from behind because it's your parents wondering, hey, should I pay for you to do this thing? It's a little harder to rationalize. But hopefully there was enough good information in this video to rationalize you clicking the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.